from all nooks and crannies of the party. New to the party. We said we must better act fast. And I must ask their leader, with all due respect, their commander in chief, mm. yes. quickly, strategically bring them to you so that you know the real strength of the party and you begin to plan for us before you come. Mm. Your Excellency, people you are looking at here, they don't live in Abuja. They are not diaspora youth leaders. They have flown from their various states. Some drove down to come to Abuja. So they are not people who sit in Abuja and say they are doing local politics. These ones don't leave their state. They are delivering for the party. Am I lying? Yeah, no, no, no. No. And so, sir, it is important that as you come into the structure of the party, that they are not joked to it. Yeah. This is my brother here, because of his fight for the party to deliver his community on election day, the opposition harassed him, they shot him. He was in the hospital for three months. He's still working with working state. He's a youth leader. And we have many of us who have worked tirelessly to ensure the victory of our party in this election. And so we have come to you that as you take on the reign of, because we believe by the grace of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are going to be, by the grace of God, our are standing with you shoulder to shoulder. We are standing behind you by the grace of the Almighty. And we pray that as you take over the reign of leadership, you will carry the youth of the party along. Am I speaking your mind? Yes. Yes. That anything that is due to the state youth structure of the party and the zonal and the national should be led to happen. Many people out there are not aware that even though we have a youth wing, we don't have a funding for the youth wing. We don't have a budget for the youth wing. My office does not have a running cost. Talk less of per diem. And that is not how it should be because the youth structure of the party is a structure where you have a lot of people, the highest population that needs so. So when you get in there, sir, please work with the end of UC and you know as a member of the end of UC we are looking forward by the grace of the almighty to a strong and effective leadership uh, for the party building on to where the former leaders have also left off okay for some of our youth leaders to move from youth leaders to higher position you will know kabaka he is a strong man in Edo State. Because of his support for Sean Mole, Governor Baseki went to his hotel and demolished it overnight, like they are doing a cano now. <laughs> they demolished his hotel and rendered the man almost businessless because of his commitment to our party. We have many of them. And I can go on and on and on, from Bayelsa to Kogi, and some who are orphans because they have no governors. The short man from Moyo State, your leader, is able to relate. And Anambra. And you know, Boke is here. He has no governor. Enugu. Even uh, Zafara has become an orphan too. Uh, Kano Ali? No, you have Baba. You have Zafara. You have Zafara. You have Zafara. Eh? No way, when chairman gets there, power will show. <laughs> so we have come to congratulate you and to tell you that the youth of the party are the biggest structure of the party and that we are willing and ready to work with you to ensure that we can put APC on the path of greatness and make our party attractive to the future generation. Your Excellency, I don't want to talk too much. I think I've delivered what my colleagues yes, have You came from all over the country. our country, Nigeria. And I'm so happy that you came with a mission. You came with an objective that is to pray for me and those me as the chairman of our great party. I thank you for that. 
In fact, looking at your faces, I know many of you, since the time we are, you were looking for this respected position, the National Youth Leader, I think we were together, when I was, you were introduced to me from Lagos, looking for this position, and many of you like that, and we succeeded by winning the leadership of this uh, great party, which led to the winning of the national election at various levels. So we thank you for this. There's no doubt myself as a governor of Kano State, even before governor, I was deputy governor of Kano State for 80 years. And then a governor of Kano State for 80 years. The chairman of a local government in the FCT, in Guagolada, in Kwali, in Abaji. So you know that uh, I have been having, okay, commissioner for the military for seven years. So you can see that uh, at various levels, I had effective contact with the youth. And our party today requires a lot of energy, motivation, synergy, force, struggle, and all these are combined in our youth. Yes. Therefore, it is our youth who are the focal points. You are the strength of the party in terms of number, in terms of stamina, and in terms of energy. So there's no doubt when we start this important job, we don't have better partnership than the youth. So we assure you, our party will not be a dormant party. It will not be a party that is only active during election. Yes. Yes. It will be a party that will be alive. A party that will be active. A party that will move. A party that will be involved in mobilization, recruitment of membership to the party throughout the year. So we are coming up with some reforms in the party to ensure that all the stakeholders are being included, provided with an enabling environment for participation, and all the organs of the party are functional, and to introduce program throughout the year, so that there will be a lot of activities used without activities I don't mind. They are just in restive yeah. condition. So we assure you, Thank you sir. this is your friend in progress. Wow. I could recall when I was governor of Kansas State, I established a whole ministry for youth development. And not only that, I invited the leaders of the youth in the state and requested them to provide me with a commissioner. I didn't even pick the commissioner. I said, youth, go and deliberate. Go and struggle. Go and argue. Go and mesmerize. Yes, sir. <laughs> And come up with one person yeah. as a commissioner of youth. Yes, they did that and I appointed him. Became a commissioner yes, and he worked very hard with me. So be rest assured that we are partners in progress. Thank you. We'll be operate 
which is transparency, with fairness, with accountability, with internet democracy, all the places that we have crisis, will have very strong conflict resolution mechanism. And those states, without donors, will be given sufficient attention. And also, we try to link political appointees with the followers, not to have Abuja politicians, people who are appointed, ministers, you don't know them, you don't see them, then there is a gap that is existing. So we ensure that all political appointees we create a conducive environment whereby they will meet with major stakeholders from the state. Thank you. So that they work together, they plan together, they execute together. Not to be an absentee politician while you are enjoying the dividends of democracy in Abuja. It requires attention. You need to plan together. You need to act together. A situation whereby somebody doesn't even know how many wards in the state. Some don't even know the location of the headquarters of the party. <laughs> Politics like that. Yes. Politics is a whole package yes. where there is complete synergy, yeah. where there is participation, where there is inclusiveness. Mm. That is how we can put your forces together so that you win election. So we thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us.